Today we have a light schedule in Major League Baseball, but I still have one official betting pick for you, as well as a lean on another game. Those represent the top two baseball bets for Monday, May 1st, in my humble opinion. In this video, I will also tell you about a free contest I am running at mjpix.com this week, where the top three finishers will get a prize. Welcome back for another week of MLB Picks, my bunch of bookie crushers. System pick number one goes to the New York Yankees at home against the Cleveland Guardians. The blowout number three betting strategy is responsible for this betting tip. There are just 15 or 20 picks based on this system every season, so I'm going to take advantage of it today. After analyzing past data, I realized that betting teams who were facing a different opponent after getting demolished by a margin of at least 11 runs yielded a nice profit. That's the case here, since the Yankees were humiliated 15-2 yesterday in Texas. That corresponds to a 13-run margin. And since New York is indeed facing a different squad, then by virtue of the criterion for betting, we should be supporting the Yankees. Do I still like the play after analyzing the matchup in more details? I do, and that's why the Yankees are an official pick for today. First, I find Cal Quantrill to be a pretty inconsistent pitcher. This year, he has allowed at least three runs in four of his five starts. His 1.64 whip statistic shows how much he has struggled. And that was despite facing weak offensive teams like the Tigers and the Nationals. Meanwhile, New York will counter with Domingo German. His 5.54 ERA looks scary, but that's a good thing because it probably impacted the line and made the Yankees just a small favorite. In reality, he has done a fine job. I trust much more the whip stat because it shows how much traffic there has been on the bases while the pitcher was on the mound. In this case, German's whip stat sits at 1.08, which is extremely good. He is coming off a rough outing in Minnesota, but he will bounce back today. The Guardians have won just 33% of their past 75 games in New York, so I'll take a shot at the Yankees despite the injuries in New York's lineup. Before we continue today's betting predictions, I am thrilled to introduce you to a 100% free baseball prediction contest where you can win cash prizes. The rules are super simple. Pick the winner of each MLB game this week from Monday to Sunday. Only games starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time or later will qualify. So you have until that time every day to enter your picks. The top three performers will win the following prizes. The person with the most correct predictions will get $50 US. The second place finisher will get one week full access to my picks across all sports, while the person in the third spot gets all of my picks for one week in baseball only. Just three easy steps to follow. Number one, sign up at mjpix.com. Number two, choose a subscription plan. You can either go for the free plan where you are going to get the YouTube picks via email and SMS as soon as I post them, which occurs many hours before the video is released. Or you can go with a paid plan where you get picks for a week or a month. During the past 21 weeks, we have obtained a winning record in 18 weeks, while we got a losing record in just 3 weeks. That's 5 months, that's right, five months of gains piling up repeatedly. Finally, step number three will be to enter your picks for today. That's it. Then keep entering your picks 
every day until Sunday, and who knows, you might be the prediction beast at the end of the week. Let's go back to MLB bets for today. Up next, we have two teams fitting under the snapped winning streak betting system, which goes like this. Fade a road team that lost its previous game after winning at least five in a row. The Blue Jays rode a six-game winning streak before losing to the Mariners in extra innings yesterday. Since Toronto is in fact the visiting team today, then according to the rules, we must bet against them. And therefore, this strategy suggests grabbing the Red Sox. However, the Jays qualify under the hot bats number one strategy that I presented last week. Since we have conflicting information, I tend to stay away from such games. I did more research on this game and my final conclusion is to avoid it altogether. I don't see any value in neither team here. That being said, the Reds won 5 games in a row before letting slipping away their final game of their 3 game series against the Ace on Sunday. That means we have a system pick on the Padres. But by pure coincidence, once again we have the road team, Cincinnati, qualifying under the hot bats number one strategy. I dug deeper to see whether I saw some value with either team. This time I've got to say I have a lean on the Padres. One of the reasons is I appreciate using the snap winning streak betting and goal against weaker teams. For example, the Reds are not a strong team, but they surprise many with a long winning streak. But once that streak is snapped, I feel like the team's confidence is gone and they could end up going through a bad funk. I am aware that Blake Snell is not very trustworthy but Luke Weaver is not better. In case of an offensive outburst, I would certainly prefer to back the Padres. So in short, I am not personally betting San Diego, but if someone wanted to do it, I would not see it as a bad bet at all. Don't forget to join the fun at mjpix.com to play my free MLB prediction contest. Show us your handicapping skills and you could bring home $50 US. Come on man, come and play this free contest with our bunch of bookie crushers.